Hi, I'm Sam Wickens. I'm a musician from Bangor. I'm currently living in Belfast. This is a song called Done With The World. When it comes the morning, don't let me wake up. There's pain in every day. Find me somebody whose heart is the flame to stop them. Whenever I was younger, um, my mum bought me this thing called a leap, I think it was called a leapfrog or a leap book. It was an interactive book and there was a page and it had all these different instruments and there was woodwinds and brass and all this. And whenever I played one of the sounds, I was able to think about the shape it made. So there was a connection between what I heard and, and how I would interpret it. And then I think that was the start of it, and then from then I would listen to like my mum and dad's old CDs of like Michael Jackson and the Eagles and all this, and then Elton John and Johnny Cash, and I just, I didn't listen to music, I experienced it, so I, if I put on a CD I'd be sitting there, I'd be reading the sleeves and listening out for the words, and as I got older that kind of connection got stronger and stronger, and then I got a piano, and I was like, oh, I can make noises, and then them noises became melodies, and the melodies became songs, and then I got a guitar, and it was similar to a piano, as in I could make noises, and that's, that's still what I, I just make noises still. <laughs> this song is called Set in Stone. Into the fog I want Every step I fall As I keep climbing higher up Till the high is not high at all Into the night I crawl
first started writing music and, and writing songs, especially with words, um, there were I think, parody types of songs. And I think it was, I wanted to, to write songs and I wanted to write lyrics, but it's extremely vulnerable and I didn't want that to happen. I didn't want people to kind of see deeper into me. So I found the way to do it is to write parody songs. And then from then, I think I tested the waters once on like a Facebook video whenever I was really young with a song and people liked it. And I was like, okay, that's the fear of the way people aren't like taking the mic out of me or, or laughing at me. And started writing more and kind of getting deeper and, and learning about what kind of things do I want to write about. It doesn't always need to be you know, like heartbreak songs or all this. And I just kept writing and writing and becoming friends with that process and getting closer to it until now where it's just a normal run of the mill thing. This song is called It's Okay To Be Alone. I see musical production the same as musical songwriting. Do you know, it's just got those different ingredients and loads of different methods. So when I'm writing a song now, most of the time it is also while producing the song to feel how, what kind of energy it has or where is it going. But then the, the flip side of that is playing it live. How, how, does people, how does the audience kind of react to the song? Is it getting the the reaction that I also get from it. So if I write a sad song, I also feel sad when I play it. So I like to see if people react that way. Not, I don't like it when people cry, which actually seems to happen <laughs> quite a good bit whenever I play live and I do feel bad. But I love that music is invoking a reaction on people. And whether it's my song or somebody else's song, I love that that's still happening. So the process is kind of backwards and forwards and up, down, left, right. But it is all about the the recorded version has that as a version and me playing it live as a version and I want both of them versions to be able to invoke a human reaction with people. That was me. Do you know I think I think that would be the biggest compliment I could receive is for someone to say that is that is Sam embodied and all the different compartments of his mind you can find a different song and that I wasn't writing for like fame and fortune but I, I left behind it's just it's like reading someone's diary and that would be like the biggest compliment I could receive is just not leaving a part of myself like scattered and bits and pieces throughout the music this song is called Oh Mother. I have been many places in my own mind. You have seen many faces. I about the things we 
And when I was younger, my mother would always say, Your eyes, they look clear after the tears took the pain away. Oh. I know a lot of musicians, their person, or when I say their personal life, their life outside of music is very closely reflected within their music. For me, it's my music is kind of like a like a thriller. If you know, there's a slight difference. So there is. So it's not really about my experiences and stuff, it's how my mind perceived those experiences whenever I remember them. So something that was scary, well, when it's in the song, it's petrifying and it's all these different things. So my real life, I live it and I get experiences. And then my music life is going through them and saying, is there something there that I want to talk about again, that I want to sing about again? But it's not like I went to the shop and then I, or I go and do my shopping and then I write a song about it. It's not like that. It would be, I go and do the shopping and then four months later, I remember that time I was in the shop and I saw someone wearing cowboy boots and cowboys. And, I, and it's just association that builds a story. Other than that, that's how it works for me anyway. It used to, it used to a lot. Um, I used to be petrified of making a mistake, petrified of forgetting words. Just whenever I was on stage, I was in fight or flight, like the amount of adrenaline I would have and it wasn't the good kind. Now I'm just calm and it is, in, in, in a horrible way of saying it, it is what it is. Um, but that's how my mind is when I'm on stage. That's me relaxed. That is, that's where I'm supposed to be at that moment. And I just allow things to happen. And if I forget words, well, I'm a human being and there's other humans that forget words. Or if I make a mistake, well, there's other people that make mistakes. And, uh, you know, it's not life or death anymore. And I think that's one of the best things about it now is that because it's not life and death, I can just appreciate the moment and I can look around and I can take it in rather than being, you know, like, horse blinders or tunnel vision into playing a song, I get the experience and, and, and go through that little miniature journey whenever I'm on stage. No this song is called The Great Orchestrator. <laughs>
Stay alive when not living And take without giving You'll find yourself loving each day You know I don't need you To create or bring you There's times when you fall I think one of the fears people would have is that for you to get into music you, you need to want to be the next pop star or whatever. There's no like gatekeeping. Do you know you can be you can be involved in music and go to an open mic night and then never do it again, or you could go once every few years or once every few months, or you could be dropping everything in your current life to go and aspire to be a, a songwriter or a, or a musician. Do you know there's no right or wrong way, but if you want to do it, do you know you can do it to whatever pace or whatever level that you want to do it, and you're still a musician. Do you know being a musician is just being in and around the music and involved in the craft and the creation of it. This song is called Lately. Lately I've been sleeping on my own And by the lately oh I mean you oh so So if you're feeling lonely and you need a place to go Baby I'll be sleeping on my own Maybe I've been talking to myself Oh, I have nearly bored myself half to death So if you're quick to judge and you hold a hyper-tongue Cause maybe I'll be sleeping on my own Allow time to get to know yourself is the biggest thing that I, I do tell people. Um, and it's okay to change. Do you know who I was at 17 or 18 and who I am now are two different people. And that's good because that's growth. But I think a lot of people want to cement themselves into who they are and they want to quickly find out who they are so they can get out there and, and be that person. But allow yourself time to, to, to learn, you know, with time you have experience, you get to learn from mistakes you make that are great to have. So it's, it is looking at it a bit more relaxed, it's not an overnight thing, you're not going to be exactly who you want to be overnight. Allow yourself to just go on the journey, make mistakes, learn from them, find out who you are more comfortable being and just keep moving forward with that. And if 